Hello everyone, Brett Gurney here. Um, and okay, so these video clips that you're seeing are excerpts taken from an interview with Dr. St Stefano. And this interview uh, was done by Dr. John Gluckman. Okay, so enjoy and um, we'll see you again soon. Bye. Anybody else uh, out there with any questions, feel, feel free to open up here. Yes, hi, John. It's Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Hi. Um, first of all, Dr. Stefano, I just want to uh, thank you for being here with us. It was a pleasure to meet you in Las Vegas. I yeah. have a couple of questions just pertaining to the topical side. Um, mm -hmm. so, Spa owner actually said to me that she would have to look, look into liability coverage to see if she'd be able to offer something like that spa. So I'm wondering wondering about regulations about that and if there's going to be training on the device is my first question and the other would be on the topical products um, used without the device is still an effect and just a mental effect or is the device necessary for this purpose I understand the deeper deeper issues with calcifications obviously that the wand would be um, advantageous but I'm just wondering about plain topical application and and how right, much right. effect that right. would have. Thank you. Right. That shouldn't be a problem because it's it's a device that is actually uh, authorized in Europe and other countries for home use, meaning you can use it yourself in a self, uh, uh, self uh, application. Um, that is because the you know the level of uh, electricity or radio frequency are very low below the levels of uh, you know uh, safety uh, yes so it will be authorized for personal use can it be used in spas and so forth absolutely I would say that certainly can be used there will be training absolutely hopefully sometime I would say next March or April uh, um, that we will have some kind of a meeting or meetings to train people to use it. It's not going to be very difficult to use it. It's a pretty simple uh, device and we're actually now working on making it even simpler. Uh, but, you know, it's clearly important to be trained and, and to know what, what, what to do with it. Um, now, the second question on the application, uh, on the direct application. Yes. Um, once you have the, the gels, the two gels, aphatone and aphacels, uh, you can certainly use it also as a topic. Again, as you properly pointed out, it depends on what you want to do with it. Clearly, if you want to use, uh, say, let's say, aphacel for calcifications, uh, it's going to be very difficult for you to be able to do it just applying it directly on the skin. So you need the device. The deeper you go with the root of the problem, the, the, the more you'll need the device. But uh, on many issues, you know, even just applying the product, the, the algae-based product, the, the, the Afamax-based product on the skin, uh, it's, uh, it's also very, very effective. Um, I don't know if that answers your question. But the, the yes, one, thank you very much. The one aspect of uh, her first question was, would, would spa owners required uh, any additional insurance coverage to cover themselves oh. in case of any complications? I would say probably not, in the sense that, uh, again, it's a, it's a home-approved device. Okay. So the level of, uh, let's say, risk and therefore coverage is uh, very low and if they have a general coverage for their practice i don't think they should have any further need for for extra insurance coverage okay thank you